Hey, what's up everyone? This is Vegetarian Zombie and I want to welcome you to my Season 3 of 7 Days to Die. That's right, we're starting on a whole new map and we're working on Alpha 11. Before I started, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of my options. First, this is the, the game name I'm using, Vegetarian Zombie Season 3. So if you want to use that seed for any reason, there it is. For standard options, everything is the same except I made the percentage of night to 20%. In short, night tends to be very boring. What happens is daylight falls, I get to the top of my roof, and I wait until daylight starts because generally speaking I don't usually have a torch or something to make things bright. So I'm just minim min minimizing the night time. And then of course we have persistent profiles on, uh, so I don't really know what that does. But that's the default. Under modded options, this time I'm disabling loot respawn. In seven days to die, the default is seven days. So if you loot some trash and you come back seven days later, stuff will magically appear. Same with everything else. In a way, it sort of it sort of rewards you for staying in the same place for too long. This game is all about scavenging. So I'm gonna take a take something new, and I'm trying to disable that and we'll see how that affects my behavior and if we come down here all right is that it okay that's that's really it everything else is normal and you'll notice one thing is that the craft timer is back i did some tests in seven days to die and i took an iron ingot and i started crafting some some forge metal and then I quit the game. I came back and guess what? I still had that material with me. So they fixed that bug and because of that, the craft timers are returning. Okay, we have everything. And I think it's time to get our game started. Here we go. I have no idea what to ex expect. I haven't played this seed before. So let's dive into it. So here we are. We're in a forest. And what's nice about this weird fish eye thing is driving me nuts the first thing you will notice is of course i'm sure you've if you haven't seen any let's seven days to die let's plays we've got a whole new graphical adjustment you can see we got some nice sky boxes now we got some different trees and everything is looking a little bit different and you can see here we they got rid of this inventory label here which is nice because i would always click it so now you just have crafting and and character. There's also a leveling system. Oh, I can't make sharpened stones. Okay, so that's a little bit different. Also, you pick up grass. Oh, jeez. They've also lowered the amount of grass to help performance. They've actually changed the water performance. All right, so you can see we pick up grass, and look at that. We have already plant fibers, so we don't have to do the, the crafting for that. So let's get a stone axe. And, yeah, making the stone axe is pretty simple. This is the first thing you make in Seven Days to Die. And here's the crafting timers. I gotta get used to these again. <laughs> and we have now stats on our stuff. So here we have, you can see, this is a faulty stone axe. It sucks. And I guess as you level up, yes, there's levels, you make better stuff. Okay. <laughs> This is the part where I say, oh, it's just an early access game. You know, they'll fix that. Come on, guys. This is a basic mechanic. <laughs> the next thing we have to do is build a bow. The crossbow is now, I think, a later game. It's not an, a beginning level thing that you'd get. Oh, and the other thing is bird nests are, are nowhere near as, as um, shall I say, plentiful as they were before. So... Take that as you wish. Oh, I'm getting some staggers there, so I don't even know what that is, but we'll take it. So the stone axe is pretty useless, and we're gonna need a weapon. So I gotta see what kind of clubs are available to us. I know they're gonna stink. So we got a, a, a bar. There's no way we can make that. No way we can make that. Nope. Well, we can make this. <laughs> this is the crap club. So let's take this, and we're gonna make some boards to make some sticks. Man. I, look how big this weapon model is. All right, is this gonna be as janky as the... I wonder if this could be... Oh, that's a nice sound. Oh, wow. So, it looks like they still need some work on this. 
I'm willing to to say that it may be my my machine as well, but I can't really say for sure without doing further testing. Uh, this is what I paid to sign up for, you know, being a guinea pig here. Okay, so what's the plan? What's the grand scheme of this episode? It's going to be not like the last episode. Last episode, I was sort of fixated on big builds. I wanted to make my my house so I could make the idea was I want to make a mall <laughs> in in uh, sort of in to give what I want to say Dawn of the Dead, sort of a throwback at Dawn of the Dead, no, the original 1970s movie, not the the remake. And so I started, in order to make this build, I decided to get, get the idea of building a small house that would be well defensible because I knew I'd be spending a lot of time in there. Turns out I was spending so much time building that. I never finished my house. In fact, I was, I was working on the second floor when Alpha 11 dropped. And I decided to move on to the, to the next next iteration of seven days to die look at this this is all right we're gonna kind of lay low here for a second get my bow out do we got it so that's n one nice thing is when you craft it goes right into your inventory so let's see let's see if there's an arrow okay so we got this and it makes this looks like it makes three arrows per Per thing, but look at—we don't have to sharpen the stones anymore, so that's nice. Thirty-five arrows, nice. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Let's take out this guy. All right, let's see if this works. Arrows supposedly have dropped now, meaning they. Y you'll just, they'll have, they're not in a straight line. What the heck is that? Oh, a casino token. I'm not too sure what that is. It's weird not having a melee weapon because that's the, that's, that's how you kill zombies in this game. Hello. In your face. Whoa. I said in your face. Oh my God. Oh my god. Ah! I can't move. Holy crap. Huh. I figured she'd be dead. On like the third the third hit, I was like, oh wow, she's gonna she's gone. But she just kept on taking arrows. It would be really cool if you could get your arrows back. That needs to be done. We gotta take out the nurse zombie. Here, nursey. Oh, I keep thinking she's she's gonna go down like in one shot. You know, it's like the crossbow. Let's see what we got? All right, that will work. Oh, look at that! Look at that, folks. I think we might have found our home for the night. Well for the afternoon or for the end of this episode. That's nice. And these, you can see these, the rocks and everything. Yeah, you can, and see how like the, the trees right there, these bushes, you'll see how they, they pop in. And that's definitely a performance thing, but man, it kind of sucks anyway. Hello, this is my house. Get out of my house. Ugh, this bow's not, shoot. Level three. Oh, if I had a melee weapon, these guys would all be dead by now, and I'd be having chili in your face. Look at them all. One thing I'm curious to know is how the sound is working out. I've always had problems with the sound in this game. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. At least I'm not bleeding. All right, let's get this guy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> you guys are a little too eager. I am not that kind of meatbag. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, man. Do not like this bow. It takes... It's slow to reload. Headshots don't seem to do that much damage. If I am headshotting them. Probably not. Alright. Let's try above. Nope. I wonder if the drop... I mean, drop shouldn't... Shouldn't come into play this, this distance. Ugh. Well, that, that worked out okay. Shoot this guy in the face! I don't like the way you look at me! How many? I got 26 arrows. I'm gonna need to find a better weapon soon. I can't use this. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm not using it right. If any of you have any suggestions to uh, improve the effectiveness of this weapon, I'd... Oh, God. Taking three zombies. Three zombies. Three arrows. Four arrows to kill one of these guys. Fine when you're on one-on-one -on -one encounters. But when you're, when you're just with a, a horde of these things. Oh, I think I was mentioning the, the gore blocks. What the heck? <laughs> Oh man, is that some more? Am I being... I'm spotted, of course. Of course, zombies. Well, I am carrying some food. Yay. Did I just kill you? Level four. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> I didn't quite understand that, but... I'll take it. So the gore blocks, the zombies will have the ability to, to climb over. The, as the corpses degrade, zombies will be able to use them as... Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> well, at least we're not coming in there in panic. Oh, there goes another guy. All right. We're going to have to ultimately make a new door. All right, we are in. And look at this. That only took me forever and a day. And this is probably the worst place that I want to be. Nothing in the bookcase. That's right, we got to relearn how to forge. And we got a tin can. So this is a good place to stop off now, hopefully. <laughs> we won't have any friends soon. So that's the beginning of this series. Yay! We're in the middle of nowhere hiding for our lives. And let me just say the stone axe is terrible. Look at this. <laughs> thing is. Yeah, so I'm gonna probably test around for performance just to increase the frame rate. It's 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 still getting a little I may have to turn off some of the effects. Am I been caught already? Yeah, they still got the automatic lock on. All right, folks. I want to thank thanks again for watching this series. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing some new adventures with you. So I will see you in the next episode. See you around.